Yo, what is good guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today on JP Hype, I'm going to be doing a review for you guys. Um, I did get an Adidas this time, and you guys do know that Adidas hype is down a little bit, but it is starting to make a little bit of a return. Um, I did get a human race, the all-white human race that just dropped. They also dropped with an all-black and an all-yellow. I think that's it. There might have been like a tealish color too, but I think this was the best out of them, if not all the black. I do have these which are basically all black with just the gum bottom, but I think these are better than the all black personally. I do really like the uh, the gum bottom on these, and that is the reason that I did keep these and not sell these. But yeah, let's get right into this. Um, hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Um, let's get right into this. Right here. Um, Basically, I'm just going to open this. I'm going to let you guys know what I think about it and uh, the resale value on it. All right, guys, so you'll see here that this box is a little bit smaller than I would usually be getting. Um, this is a size 8. Um, I did not cut my size in this because I had no intentions of keeping this whatsoever. Um, right now, I do plan on using this for my store that I do plan on opening with a couple other guys around January. So hopefully that becomes a reality soon. We get a storefront, stuff like that. But I do and uh, want to put this away for that store as well as these right there that I did not do a review about, but let me know if you guys would want that. Also, these um, Indigos as well, and then those Yeezy Israfils, a couple other Jordan 1 Lows, a couple other ones, stuff like that. But yeah, so I'm going to get this open here, see what these look like. I have not seen these in person yet, but I do know they are a super clean shoe. So yeah, this is a super nice shoe. Um, personally, I do really like the all white. I think it's a super clean look. And uh, I think if I got these in my size, I would end up putting them on my foot. That is one reason that I did not go for my size because they are such a nice shoe. They are such a clean shoe. And um, personally, I haven't looked at the resale value of these since I got them, but I'm gonna put that on the screen right here, what they're going for in a size eight. Um, if I had to guess, I'd probably say these are right around 250 right now. So in a store, I think I could sell these for around 280 because you don't have to pay for uh, shipping and like StockX um, fees, goat fees, stuff like that. So I think in a store, I could sell these for 280 to around 300. To somebody I know, I'd probably sell these for around 270 to 270 to 300 as well. Um, if you guys cop these, my honest. Um, opinion would be for you guys to either sell them right away try to make a quick like twenty to thirty dollars off of them or hold them for the long run if you don't mind not getting money right away um, I think this shoe will definitely go up in value probably not right away I would say probably three to four months this shoe might start creeping up to around 300 but it probably won't go much higher than that unless you hold it for like three years to wear the shoe you never can find it brand new and then the shoe might be worth like closer to four Personally, I really like the shoe though, like I said, but um, it is super small. Um, that's what she said. That's what she said! <laughs> I couldn't fit this. I don't care if I'm my age, I'm not killing myself. So yeah, like I was saying, I couldn't fit this shoe. Um, I'm a size 10, this is an 8. Um, that's really all I have to say. Otherwise, the quality on these is always nice. They're always super nice. Um, super comfortable shoe. So these aren't too expensive right now. So go and cop a pair of these. If you like the all black, you like the all yellow, you like the all white, go and cop a pair. Maybe it'd make a good Christmas gift. They're super comfortable. They're super, super comfortable. They're a super clean looking shoe as well. Um, let me get this other shoe right here. But um, I don't want to really bore you guys. I just wanted to tell you guys what I was thinking about these, what I think that they will do if I think they'll move or not. But like I said, they are not going to fit me. So I'm going to hold on to them for a little bit, probably a couple months at least. And um, that's really all I got. Um, if you guys did not enter the giveaway in my last video, make sure you go and check that out right now. I'm going to be drawing that probably December 6th or 6th or 7th, probably around there. If you guys do win, you do have to watch my video that I'm going to announce the winner in. So hopefully you guys are keeping up on the videos that I post. Um, so if you guys are the winner, I'm going to announce your name in that. If you do not message me within two days or um, comment back um, like accepting it or whatever, 
um, then you guys are not going to win and I'm going to have to draw somebody else. So you guys have to make sure that you're keeping up on my videos if you guys do want to win. Like I said, go to my last video, the Danny Duncan Mystery Box video, and make sure you comment what I said to comment on that video. It's right around the end, so make sure you guys go and enter that giveaway. Um, that's really all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this kind of video, make sure you hit that subscribe button if you are not already. Stay hype. Peace.